now let's uh, start how to install go milo in your any uh, web hosting or any vps or <coughs> any ready server even you can install your on your laptop or desktop also let's uh, let's start i have uh, some information that is uh, my uh, i have a domain name i have a mysql username and also <coughs> mysql password and database name and i have also a license key to my uh, go milo so i just i have also a install file go milo underscore install dot php you can upload it uh, through the ftp i am using file gel you can use any kind of uh, ftp uh, client software just uh, uh, host name uh, you can uh, use your domain name or you define software uh, provider according to your hosting provider maybe they provide you any another ip or uh, defines uh, host name a username uh, ftp username uh, ftp password after the click connect uh, your uh, uh, system is uh, connect, uh, your website is uh, web hosting is connected to your through your ftp uh, client uh, software after that you can easily upload the install file this is the installer file uh, this is my domain name demo.gomilo.com gomilo underscore install.php uh, that is a installer file and uh, yeah, there's uh, five fields uh, one of the mysql host name if you know if you know idea about uh, remote mysql connection then just uh, keep it un unchanged uh, and there is a mysql username the username according to your hosting account yeah my school account my school username and in my case i have my username my school username and my school db name is same for that reason i copy that uh, same thing but uh, most of the situation both are uh, different maybe uh, username my school username is different and my school database name is different in that case you keep it your mind that according to uh, your information you must submit that information data these are my school password and in this field you can uh, your uh, license key i have a, uh, a license key this is already that uh, this key already it is already used by another server just uh, for uh, testing purpose i am just trying to install uh, through this uh, license key let's check or it will happen that's uh, happen is already already in used actual uh, you can understand uh, you can never you, you never use same multi uh, if you have SSL certificate in your ser uh, server, then you check it for SSL uh, box. Otherwise, you can uh, leave it uh, blank and install now. Click on install now. It will take some time according to your server or internet speed. Actual all file is uh, the all file is copied from remote server. Uh, you can see all file is created your all file given is message showing success but there is some issue issue is the what is the issue you can f look at there as the issue there is a created command denied user this is my, your username my username username that in that uh, error message that means the user have no permission to create a database okay so the, the user can't create any table or any database for that reason is a issue is uh, issue is happened so uh, uh, there is uh, two option you have two option first option is uh, uh, you must uh, privilege uh, you, ca you can add as a privilege this user as a create a new da database or table otherwise in second option is uh, you, you can there is a second option you can try it there is a uh, download uh, in the this is the download link your uh, our database download link just click this link copy this page and go to your hosting provider account my sql account 
this uh, or SQL account default password is admin default user is admin and default password is admin hmm? your software installed successfully installed actual uh, keep it in mind in one things you must uh, submit your your license key again okay so if you don't uh, in, uh, submit license key you click anywhere <laughs> your uh, system uh, redirect on in this page you must copy this license key just add the license key your license key is valid your installation is successfully completed now you can create new campaign you can get everything